Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jane. Today, we are going to be playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So we are going to be playing this game in English, because that's the only language I know how to read and write and speak. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Looks like he's got a little munchlax there. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Alright, so we will be going with the classic male, and our name, just so that you guys know, is going to be J Today. Let's get this down A Y and press that OK. Your name is J Today? Yes! Okay, so you're Jay today. A fine name that is. Well, thank you. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Alright, so we could go with the classic Barry, but... I think I'd rather choose another name. Um, this name that I'm going with is an actual friend of mine, and he was the one that kind of got me a little more into Pokemon, and his name is Elias. Elias, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. All right, Jay, today, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. We shall. Alright, it's been a while since I've played um, just Diamond in general. Let's see what this is. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. So... That concludes our special report, Search of the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Well, I don't know about you guys, but having a Red Gyarados on the team may not be a bad option. Well, look at that, that is our mother. Jay today, Elias came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Hmm, an emergency. Okay. What could it be? Oh yes, Jay today. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. Alright. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... I gotcha. Alright, so before we continue on, I just want to do something to the settings real quick. I'm gonna... Uh, change the text speak to fast and I want to disable autosave to off. I want to confirm this. I just don't like having autosave because sometimes you want to go back and like change something and you know autosave doesn't allow you to do that so um, I usually just turn that off. Ooh, stud! What was that about? Oh hey Jay today. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Hey, Jay, today I'm finding you a one million Poké Dollars if you're late. Dang. A million? Sounds like me. Oh, jeez, forgot something. Ah, oh, you goofball. What you forget, Barry? Let me come inside without permission. Well, hello, Barry's mother. Thanks for letting me just walk by you. I better take my bag and stuff. Oh, hey, Jay, today. <clears throat> We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Poké Dollar fine if you're late. Wow, he just literally 10x that. 
Looks like he has a Switch too. He's got his own TV, a nifty little laptop setup. Damn. Alright, well, goodbye, Gary's. Oh, not Gary, yeah. Um, Eliza's mother. Or I guess, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let us head to the lake ever so slowly. Hey, you saw that newspaper uh, that was on TV, right? You know, search for the red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake? That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find that Pokemon like that. Alright! Let's see if we can actually, indeed, find a Pokemon like that. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I must have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Done, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Hey, Don. How you doing? I beg your pardon. We must be on our way. Alright. What was that about? Those two. Huh, Jay, today. Let's go check this out. Uh, no problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Oh, we're not supposed to be in the grass, but I believe this is where we get our first Pokemon. Alright. Oh, alright. So here is a battle sequence. So this is where we're going to be choosing our first Pokemon. So let's see what our options are. So there is the Turtwig, the tiny leaf Pokemon. Chimchar, the chimp Pokemon, or... Piplup, the penguin Pokemon. Which one of these should I go with? You know, this time I kind of want to try something a little different. Um, I always choose Chimchar. Um, like literally every time I play uh, BDSP or you know just Pokemon uh, Diamond in general, I always go Chimchar. I've chosen uh, Torterra ones before, but that was something I do not want to go through again. So I think this time around I'm going to be choosing the Piplup. Alright, Piplup. You encountered a Starly. Alright, let's see what our Piplup can do. So our Piplup is going to be a male. We're just going to pound the shit out of Starly. Alright, use, use Tackle, that's fine. It's like, oh wow, it did one damage. That's crazy. Piplup, you got some solid defense, my brother. Alright, keep tackling. Yeah, you're gonna need 20 tackles to bring my Piplup down. Dang, okay, I can't wait to see its stats. It must have like really beefed up defense. Starly went down. Gain some XP. Oh, honestly, I thought we will go to level 6. Fwa! Your Piplup totally rocked. Thank you. My Turtwig was way tougher than yours. Uh, there were other people's Pokemon. Well, we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh, looks like Dawn's back to fetch the briefcase. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would be furious if I had lost it. Uh oh, did did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? That is so not good. I'll take the briefcase for now. Yeah, that's a huge briefcase. It's like the size of her fucking body. All right, all right. What was that about? I don't know what's going on here, Jay. Today, let's get out of here. 
my Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Alright, so it looks like Elias is going to <laughs> be um, choosing the Turtwig as it's going to be the case. I do not. Uh, I know we have to return this Pokemon, they're not ours. But I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Alright, so I kind of forgot where we go on from here. Maybe we go back home? Uh, oh. Hey, it's those people. There's that old guy staring at us. Hmm. I heard from Don that you use our Pokemon. Let me see him, please. Hmm. Piplup and Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Okay. Um, okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit the lab later. Okay, see you. How about I visit the lab now to save us a little bit of time? What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And he didn't want his Pokemon back? Jay, today, we should go home too. Ugh. Oh, okay, looks like the game is forcing us to go back home. Alright, looks like our mom is cooking us some dinner. Ooh, it looks, some, it looks like mushrooms. What's up, dude? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Elias are on the harm? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's quite intimidating. Jay, today, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. I'm sure he will too. Oh, I know, Jay, today. Put those on. Alright, so we can finally run. We we're going out in there barefoot, but now we have shoes that allows us to run. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than before. Put on running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Alright, well thanks, Mom. Now we gotta go- Oh, yes, we are much faster. Look at this guy. He's got endless stamina. He can run forever. Alright, so let us go. Oh, here is our first or second Pokemon battle, and it is with a Starly. Could all these Starlies be an indication to something? I don't know. It's a level 2 Starly. I want this Starly to use Tackle to see if their Tackle really does only one damage, because that was pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie, I could tell that this Pipplock has some serious D. D as in defense. Come on, come on. You growl me all I all you want. It's not gonna do anything. All right, one more pound should do it justice. And the Starly fainted. All right, let's continue our way to the lab. Hopefully we won't run into any more Pokemon. Unfortunately we did. Oh, another Starly. Wow, where are the Badoos? I thought Badoos would be more common. Maybe this game is trying to tell us something. I don't know what exactly it is, but this game obviously is saying Starly is going to be an indication of something. Hmm. Alright, let's keep pounding these chickens until they can't fly no more. Okay, keep growling, that's fine. Honestly, I kind of much prefer if it uses Tackle. Like, I don't mind if Piplup takes a little damage. This little guy could uh, do well. Oh, see, that's why I want to use Tackle. Because if it uses Tackle, then I could have killed it in three shots. Alright, there it is. Starly Fate. Your Pokemon gained some XP. Alright, let's make our way to the lab, Sand Gym Town. Hey, Don, you've been waiting for us? Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our research lab. Let's go. Dud. Oh, what the? Oh, it's you, Jay, today. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter to take today. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? Your friend seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go outside. Or inside. 
Yeah, he's really impatient because he knows he's going to be losing every battle that we, uh, you know, battle. So he needs to train up his Pokemon. Finally, you've come J today, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Piplup as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Uh, you know what, generally, I don't really give nicknames to Pokemon I play, but this time, might as well. Um, well, what will be a good nickname for this Piplup? I think I'm gonna call this Piplup... I'm not sure if you guys will get this name, but um... I'm gonna be calling it Mumble. And if you guys have watched uh, Happy Feet, then you guys would know that Mumble is the uh, penguin that can't stop dancing. It it was dropped as an egg, and um, you know it had like this little I, I don't know like I I guess it kind of like made him a little different. So instead of being able to sing well, he could actually tap. So. Yeah, I think Mumble would be a pretty good name. You obtained the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. So today, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up on Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Yikes. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with the Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Jay, today your grand adventure begins right now. Our adventure does indeed, you know, uh, await us if you just stop talking and let us do the adventuring. Anyways, I'm done. I'm also I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'd be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Jay, today. Well, I really wish that we would a be um, battling, but all you do is just show us how to throw stuff. I got a little more experience than you as a trainer and as a professor's assist uh, assistant. Okay, follow me. Alright, now we're getting to the good part. This building uh, with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. Huh. Honestly, that looks more orange to me, to be honest. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. This is a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Jay, today, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Jay, today. You don't need to... Uh, don't you need to let your family know that you're going to help Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? Eh, honestly, I don't really think I need to, to be honest. Like, my mom knows that I was born a Pokemon trainer. I don't think she really needs me, but yeah, in order to progress with the game, I need to go talk to my mother. So that is something we'll be doing just now. Can't wait until uh, we get a bike because that will allow us to move a lot faster in this game. Oh, let's take a quick rest here. Ding, ding, dee, dee, ding. What's up, Jay, today? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Jay, today. I got something you'll find useful. You obtained the guidebook. Uh, that is a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a Journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Jay, today. I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy that adventure. Well, honestly, like, if you're not gonna be doing anything, I feel like you could also go on the adventure too, Mom. Excuse me, is my little Elias here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What do I do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Jay today will deliver that to him. Hey, mom, don't be... Don't be talking for me. Oh, really, you do that for me? Well, now I have to. You obtained the parcel. You 
put parcel in your bag's key item. Bye bye, Jay, today. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my allies. Yes, ma'am. I guess I got no other choice. Oh, Jay, today. You're forgetting something important. What, is it a kiss from my mama? Oh, no, it's just a hat. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> my guy's really styling, isn't it? Yes, that hat did suit you well, Jay, today. Now off you go. Alright, now we finally are able to start our adventure to Jubilife City. So why don't we go ahead and do just that. I believe this is what- okay, Dawn's waiting for us. Oh, that's right. Jay, today I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon yet. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so you just watch me, okay? Alright. You encountered a wild Bidoof! Go, Chimchar! Oh man, I wish the professor would give us just all three starter Pokemon so that we could have our fire, water, and, uh, you know, grass type. You know, this time around, I kind of want to change up the team just a little bit, not much. Um, you know, the classic team that everyone goes for is like Chimchar, Star Raptor, Luxray, maybe a Garchomp or a Lucario and a Rose Raid or some something like that. Um, but I think I kind of want to change it up just a little. I say that and watch my whole team be like the exact same. But I did change my starter Pokemon, so at least I'm not going to have a Floatzel on my team. Oh yeah, that was the other one. Yeah, a Floatzel was something I also used. Sometimes I use Gyarados, but I don't know. Floatzel was just more convenient and I didn't have to like switch train the Magikarp. Alright, you obtained some Pokeballs. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Or do you need to go in a rush? I don't think you collect gym badges, do you? Oh, okay. Oh, wow, a Shinx. That is... Go Mumble. This is gonna be a pretty tough battle. Hmm, Shinx, Shinx. You know what? Let's catch this Pokemon. Yeah, we'll catch it. We'll add him to our little collection. I know Shinx is another Pokemon that people use a lot, but honestly, I think it's a decent electric type Pokemon. And I don't exactly have a way to um, get an Electivire. And Electivire is kind of a late game Pokemon. I kind of want to have um, our Pokemon, you know, at the uh, forefront of the game. So I think uh, Shinx will be a nice addition to our little collection. I know he's a very, uh, you know, overused Pokemon, but I think it's gonna be a okay. Well, why not? We'll add him. Alright, we have successfully caught the Shinx. Now we need to find him a good name, a Shinx, an electric cat thing. Wait, Mumble learned water gun? I thought he'd learn like bubble or something. Huh, interesting. Would you like to give Shinx a nickname? So, what would be a good nickname for an electric cat dog thing? Or wolf? Alright, I think I have a name. For our little Shinx, I'm gonna call him. Let's see. <clears throat> K A. And we'll be calling him. Kaminari. Kaminari is a character from the My Hero Academia. Now, he's the one that could uh, shoot electric out of his body. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did that battle start? I don't think I was in front of him. Man, I think this game has bugs. Alright, our first battle with another opponent. 
Wings and not Starly. Go Mumble. Mumble's really good at taking care of Starlies. Wow, that's a level 5 Starly thing. That's no joke. Use Tackle. Ooh, it's gonna be. gonna be a tough. Okay, come on. Just keep using Water Gun. Quick Attack! Okay, that only did 5 damage, so we should be able to tank another one. We'll be able to kill that Starly. Oh, we may need to head back to the Pokemon Center. Just to heal up our Mumble. Okay, hey, level 7. Too strong, too strong. I know. You know, I've been a Pokemon trainer for years. Maybe not in the game, but... Oh no, we do not. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we be careful because we don't want our. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you guys just see that? That means this uh, Shinx has good IVs or EVs or something like that, right? Maybe I should catch him and replace it. Be Loki doing a palm move. What's a level four? And I don't want to like uh, die. Mm, man, do I catch that Shinx? Well, let's just see what we can do. Because that Shinx does have um, pretty good stats. So, I think I may want to add her to our team instead. Okay, let's try catching it. Noise. Noise. Nice. Gotcha. Shinx was caught. Ah, uh, you can still get XP from catching Pokemon, I didn't know that. <clears throat> I'm not gonna use uh learn Thunder. Whoa whoa. The Shinx that we just got was actually mm, No, let's not trade the Shinx. Let's not make a Paul move and just catch a bunch of Starlies and all that good stuff. I mean, I do want the Pokemon that's like better competitively, but at the same time, you know, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. So, yeah, let's just stick with our Kaminari and di dispose of the uh, Shinx that we just caught, even though its stats are better. It's okay. We don't need perfect Pokemon. If there's anything that I realize that you don't need to be perfect, you just need to be better. Or do better. So, even though that breaks my heart, I am okay with being uncomfortable. Alright, let us continue our journey to Jubilife City. Hopefully we won't encounter any more Pokemon. Oh, dude, that was great. That was great. Alright, let's say we got another trainer. I wonder if I should start skipping these trainers. Um, to be honest, when I go through walkthroughs with other uh, Pokemon channels, I like to, you know, always kind of be ahead. And whenever some people just like rush through these battles, um, you know, I feel like I'm like falling behind. So I'd always have to like go back a couple of seconds just so that I can like stay with it or just be slightly ahead of the game. So maybe for this, for that purpose. Um, I'll just talk through all these battles. Why not? You know, you're gonna have to go through the battles too if you're playing. So I don't mind. I do not mind at all. Looks like our mumble. Oh no, no, it's okay. Our Bidoof. Our mumble needs some levels anyway. Let's keep just spamming that water gun. Yeah, you can use all the tackle we want. Our Piplup is a beast. Perfect, our Kaminari is gaining some great levels too. You defeated last Natalie. Oh, boo, I can't win. Yeah, I'm sorry, you can't because we never battle again, so. Yeah. Oh, wait, do we have another trainer? Oh, uh, okay. I thought we only had two trainers, but it looks like we have another one. You're challenged by youngster Logan. Shinx. 
Alright, please be level 3. Because if it's level 4, it learns Thunder Shock. Come on. Yeah, you can intimidate us, that's fine. I'm gonna be using. It's level 5? Alright. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Yeah, we can definitely do this. We can definitely do this. Gonna win this battle without even taking any damage. Let's go. Use a water gun. Shanks fainted. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Momo is really growing on these levels. You're like, oh wow, you got 380 bucks for winning. Alright, let's continue our way, and... Oh, wait, is there something down here? I feel like there should be... Ah, oh, there's a Pokeball. We found a potion. Nice. Alright, and we have made it to Jubilife City. Oh my gosh, Dawn, you just can't get enough of me. Hi, Jay, today are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'll feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jubilife City, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know. Jay, today you should go visit it. You'll get some tickets on Pokemon. Oh yes, Elias went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Alright, well, we're pretty much a pro when it comes to, you know, Pokemon. So I don't think we're going to be needing that. All right, and that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.